All right, welcome back, Casper Gang. C S R P R. Uh, I can't read. I'm dyslexic. Just kidding. No, I'm not. But I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Um. So this definitely does look like accumulation going on over here. We've been talking about this for a good while now. Um. As you guys can see, this is the schematic, but we look beyond the schematic when we are referring to Wyckoff. We have to like assess several things. It's now just like blindly following what the schematic shows. Uh, that's schematic one with the spring. This is schematic two without a spring. Um, so essentially where we would be, in my opinion, uh, we would be in this one, potentially this portion right here after like the whole FTX debacle and that we like topped here in October. Um, that would make me think that we were in your face C where last point of supply or support, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that we are getting ready to like essentially move up that we're entering in the phase D area where, uh, our SOS was. However, I will say back here, we did think that was the SOS got wrong foot a little bit, but the overall theory behind this, it, it's still holding up very well. Um, now looking at this volume profile right here, we are looking at essentially a couple things. You can see that we have this like horseshoe shape kind of on the profile right there. And our point of control is back down here at three cents. So uh, if we were to drop back down, I would imagine that level would definitely hold. Not only that it being at three cents, three cents would like it's an even round number that would hold as like a psychological level. Um, and we're currently finding a like resistance right over here at about three cents 76 so going from this point if we do continue pushing down from here you're gonna be looking i guess we'll draw like one more box right over here we'd be essentially looking for anywhere really between about three cents we'll round up and say like 20 to three cents flat um as you can see that's where the like volume really starts to pick up from there um, as long as you hold that, that would be good. You could ultimately end up like ranging right here a little bit, to be quite honest, because that's really what Wyckoff is. You, you're just ranging, um, accumulating before you get ready for markup. Uh, and then that's the same thing like distribution. Distribution is you're ranging before you get ready to get marked down. It, it's all it essentially is, but you also have to pay attention to like volume and then the environment of like the essentially the rest of the market um so as for like your daily indicators right now bbwp but is pivoting down and is below its moving average if you're unfamiliar with that that means or the the bbwp shows it doesn't have a directional bias it shows pretty much the volume and volatility expansion and compression so when it's going up it expand goes down compress RSI is actually pivoting back down right now. Uh, it did just break below its moving average. You could potentially see it go boop and then start pushing back down like that. Um, Stochastic Oscillator is at that um, bottom range, bottom boundary, I should say. Uh, so it's either gonna go sideways there, kind of similar back in August like this for a little bit and then push back up or it'll just roll back over as typical fashion. Wave trend oscillator is starting to pivot back down from here. Um, and then Delta, there's really nothing to talk much about on the Delta time frame. Um, other than that though, I mean like we're looking pretty good. Even if we end up dropping back down, I'd still say that we're looking pretty good as long as we hold that three cent mark. If we hold that three cent mark, then I'm gonna get a little bit worried like I did back here again. But um, as of right now, we're looking friggin' phenomenal. As for like this measured move right here, we didn't fully play it out, but we have gotten close to it um so yeah i mean even if and uh, actually i'm gonna leave off with this if we end up just for example like we're trending downwards right now regardless whether if we like hit this box or not so even if we say today's the last red day and then we start trending back upwards you need to see us get a higher high than this wick right here if you do not see that happen, that is not good. And you're going to see a bit more downside from that point, in my opinion. We'll be able to assess the structure a little bit more because you could be like in a flag to a degree. But either way, you need to break above that prior high. That prior high is at 4 cents 20.
Hey, 420. Ha ha ha. All right. Anyway, other than that, none of this financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.